It's been a while that I didn't sketch interior car design. The last time I remember was back in Ital Design. I used to work in Ital Design around 2018 and I wanted to switch from exterior design to interior design. And I remember the difference between exterior sketches and interior sketches. On exterior, you focus more on the proportions or this sculptured surfaces. And by proportions, I mean you can exaggerate them a little bit more. On interior, you need to be more careful because it's direct relationship between the human and interior product. So it's like, it has to show the ergonomics in a better way. So exaggeration is a little bit more tricky on interior. And there are more details. And I have to say I'm more of the exterior design person. I guess you know what I mean. It's more like the first sight of a car. When I see it on the first sight, this emotions, this approach to the car, I'm more into that. It doesn't mean I don't like interior. I like observing interiors too, but my knowledge and my passion and my experience is more toward exterior. I also believe that any designer should be able to design different products, different approaches. Like, I believe you cannot just say, oh, I'm able to design exteriors. I'm amazing on exteriors, but I cannot manage interiors. I think if you can manage one of them, you should be able to, at least up to a certain level, as a car designer, you should be able to design both of them. But the good news today is Viscom announced recently the automotive interior rendering style. It is good news because it will help us to get faster results for interior. I was personally also a bit lazy to the interiors because you need to consider each element and it might take a lot of more time and attention to detail. Let's jump into it. I want to show you three different ways to use Viscom for interior design of cars. So the first one you see here has very nice like this Photoshop digital drawing style. I really like it and it just took a couple of minutes. Let me show you. This was the original sketch, very dirty sketch and it's from the times as I said like 2018, 2019 maybe. I was more into doing interior projects for my portfolio. And here I focused on a big structure. I think I was inspired by Mercedes-Benz with a big display and with this organic, like a muscle tissue type of connection. I think my box six concept had something similar to that. And I just found this low quality photo of my sketch, but no problem because I just put it in Viscom. I just typed let me see what I typed. Concept, interior car design, dynamic and organic design language. I think I picked 90 or 100% for the drawing influence. And one of the results I like was this one. It's directly already like very, very good start. It saves a lot of time. By the way, last weekend I was in Munich having a workshop event with Hochschule München, transportation design students with Professor Dr. Wickenheiser. It was an amazing experience. We talked about AI for car design. Mid Journey and Viscom. I will make another video focused on this topic, but I want to mention that we all agreed there, the students, professional designers, we all agreed that Viscom is an amazing tool for doing this first step, first step for you. Like now I can take the sketch, put it on Photoshop and refine it further. It definitely follows my sketch, as you see. The proportions, the lines, the main features of my sketch is there. And it saved me a lot of time, I can imagine. Sometimes I enjoy doing this myself manually, of course, but, but if it's not like a personal fun thing to do, if it's for a job, it saves a lot of time and it helps a lot. So there is also the second option, more darker kind of feeling it generated, but I picked this one because I really loved that how it eliminated the interior of the car mostly. It just focused on the dash, the instrument panel, and that's what I wanted. So I refined it one more step. And then I realized that my steering wheel is actually in a totally wrong position and rotation. But it's not fault of Viscom. If we go back to sketch, you see that my sketch was actually wrong. But no problem, I just duplicated this layer, erased everything else than the steering wheel, and then I transformed the steering wheel into a bit different shape. And in Viscom, unfortunately, at the moment, there is not a lot of advanced transformation tools. But spoiler alert, it's coming soon with the new updates of Viscom. And then I refined this one further. It get a little bit more detailed. I painted over with my mouse to clean some areas and I just refined the overall picture and look at this. Like from that sketch to this result in just a couple of minutes, even without using any Photoshop or pen or tablet, like of course the original sketch is done by me, but just with the power of AI, it just impresses me. So that was the first way of using Viscom for interior, in my opinion, on my approach. It is like a base, you can refine it further yourself. And the main part of this video is I use the automotive interior, not the cyber cell. It's for the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video. I use the automotive interior 
that's basically optimized for automotive interior, as you can guess. So if you didn't try yet, go to viscom.ai and upload your interior sketch or make a quick interior sketch in viscom itself and just play with the automotive interior. Next result is this one. It is more refined version. So on number one, it was like creating a quick base digital sketch feeling. And on this one, you can get more refined and realistic results. Let's see where did I start on that one. All right, this was the sketch. Actually, I did this in the morning just for this video. So don't judge me on the design. It was just quick ideation. Oh, actually before that, I uploaded the original photo directly, like from a little bit more different angle. And it was the low resolution version, or it happened when I transformed it. And then even on this version, when I use automotive interior, as you see, it generated a couple of cool results actually. Like it follows my sketch lines and it fills up the rest of the car. So I think it's pretty cool. It can be very helpful if you don't want to like go through all the sketch, but I would recommend to clean your photo a little bit because you can see here the wire on the side of my sketchbook is also visible. Then I just cropped the image and uploaded the cropped version here. And I generated a couple more alternatives as well. Here we can see. And sometimes, especially when you decrease the drawing influence, you can get surprising, interesting results, let's say, which I don't want in that case. I want more like this, more realistic and more feels like automotive interior. So there were multiple results. This one was also confused one. So just regenerating. And I think this was the one that I picked. Yes, I like that one. It was 95% drawing influence. So if we compare the sketch, the result, you can see all the main lines are there. All the design ideas are there. In addition, we have the seats and this, the gear shifter area and the doors and even the nice background from the windshield. So the first thing I did was drawing something on the display because I want it to be displayed, not like a plastic piece here. So I dropped the very basic display and then I just rendered it with different drawing influences. And at the end, I like this one without drawing, like when it was like this, I just picked the in painting tool and I typed something like high tech user interface. And it was also pretty interesting. Honestly, it's more like today's graphics on the display rather than always this blue lights. It's even a bit old school now, but I wanted to keep it a bit old school version. So I went to this direction. Then I did the same for the cluster area. I, I just painted it black and I just put some blue lines and then I also wrote some like digital screen. I probably copied the same prompt and here we go. So when I render it, it just fixed my weird painting style into more realistic visual. Then I refined a little bit further. I wanted to add a couple of things on this air outlets, air vents. And then I rendered it one more time or maybe I just refined it one more time. And the last step, I exported this sketch, this results, and, and on Photoshop, I just played around. I changed a couple of parts of the design, and here we go. It also didn't take more than, I don't know, I don't want to say something wrong, but definitely 100%, it took less than 10 minutes to bring my sketch. Let me show you one more time. To bring this sketch into this level, less than 10 minutes. It's amazing. I wouldn't imagine this in 2018. Maybe Viscom already started on that time, but it was definitely not capable to do that. So the last thing I want to show you is a single component rendering. So this sketch is also from, I think, 2019. It was just a seat for Citroen, you can, as you can see. But the surprising thing is using the automotive interior. When I used the automotive interior, I was expecting something like very nice seat, but it tries to fit it into somehow like an automotive interior environment. I tried it two times and this one as well. I can see like it's in a mini van or whatever because this automotive interior model is probably trained for the interior, the whole interior thing. So what I found is rather than using the automotive interior for single components, you can directly use like Technicolor in that case. It gives nice this funky feeling with all the colors. And Viscom is pretty good at product design as well. Like probably you've seen some shoes or some different products or concept art done also with Viscom. So when I refined it one more step, it comes to this level. And I think this level is pretty good to go back to Photoshop and add your details. And you have a pretty cool sketch for the seat. Another thing I tried is the Viscom general. This is the first result. It's the more, the most realistic, most the general result from Viscom general. I like it. I, I still find it pretty cool. It's very clean result, like clean background nice product in the middle 
And when I refine it one more time, I get pretty cool details. It is already good for me to go to Photoshop or refine it here in the Viscom further. And then I tried the CyberCell, which also gave pretty interesting results. Like the first one is this. Again, without even refining, you can get these results, put them into Photoshop and go for I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it is really impressive. It's super time-saving, time-efficient method. It sounds like I'm talking for the first time about Viscom, but if you know me, if you subscribe to the channel already, you know that I'm a big fan. And it's actually a good time to say, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe for more car design content and like the video to support me and to show that you actually like it. So back to our seat. I refine it one more time and it kind of creates like different details as well. Very interesting stuff. I'm not saying it looks like a production car seat, but it's a pretty cool concept. And again with Cybercell, I tried one more time and it generated these colors this time and refine it one more time. Pretty interesting, more like a concept art style, but I really like it. I think it's very helpful for supporting your creativity and rendering your ideas. I'm working on my AI for car design course. It is coming very soon because I already know the structure. I'm just waiting for a couple more things, couple more things to finalize. Then very soon the course will be ready. It will cover the mid journey and the Viscom. As you're watching this video until here, I'm pretty sure you're interested in AI for car design. So to take advantage of the pre-order discount, now you can go to my website, barrykaplan.com and pre-order the course for saving $30. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.